Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and I have some awesome information for you guys today. So, uh, we have all pretty much figured out that Apple's next generation iDevices will most likely sport a dual core uh, CPU. We'll now have some more information for you guys. Uh, I have a post on Redmond Pi and Excelize. I'm going to start with the one on Excelize because I think the information on this one's better and I think it uh, predicts what's most likely going to happen. So, the title is Digi Times iPhone 5 will have a dual core A5 chip. So it's saying that the next generation iDevices will have a so-called A5 dual core SOC CPU. So basically, uh, this would uh, not only allow the iPhone 5 and the iPad 2 to run more intensive apps even faster than they currently do, but it's saying that it would also quadruple that of the A4's graphics and video capability. Now, the iPhone and the iPad already have the capability to run amazing applications such as Rage and other games like that and Infinity Blade. Those are the two uh, games with the best graphics at the moment. We'll well, now we're going to start to actually see games that you would most likely expect to be on a console on mobile devices due to this uh, A5 dual core SOC processor. So this will really revolutionize the mobile market and it's also saying that it will make the A4 look pretty much ancient. Now, DigiTimes is actually jumping on board with this, and they're claiming that that's the way it's going to be, is that the next generation iPhones are going to have a dual core CPU because that's the trend of the majority of the mobile market at the moment. They're all sort of turning to dual core processors, and as we know, the next generation iPhone has to be a step up along with the iPad, and they have to keep customers wanting to actually upgrade and get the newest and the latest, so uh, it's no surprise that that Apple would include a dual core CPU in their next lineup of iDevices. So what I also found interesting is that NVIDIA has a processor called the Tegra 2 SoC and it's a mobile processor and it's been out for about a year and it already has dual cores. Now the most surprising thing though is that they are uh, going to release the Tegra 3 later this year which also has quad cores so that is amazing. They're also saying that they managed to do it using the same amount of power that uh, powered the uh, Tegra 2 SoC, which again was a dual core, so that is just amazing and it will be really, really cool to see these newer processors integrated into all of the mobile devices on the market. So now the next one is over here on Redmond Pi. It's basically saying the same exact thing, just that DigiTimes is claiming that uh, the next generation iDevices will have a dual core CPU. And it's also saying that the RIM playbook will come with a dual core CPU that will be released later and that Apple is believed to step it up and get a dual core chip for the next generation iPad, which would be the iPad 2. And it's also saying something pretty interesting right here, that sales of multi-core smartphones will account for 15% of global handset shipments in 2011, with the ratio likely to climb to 45% in 2015, according to an estimate by Strategy Analytics. So uh, I think that number is kind of uh, a little low, actually. I think it's going to, I don't know, smartphones already make up so much of the mobile market as it is, and I think most smartphones will actually have to go with a dual-core CPU, and eventually, at least I would hope by 2015, they would have quad-core CPUs, but I don't know, I guess this is done by the professionals, so we'll see what ends up happening. I guess only time can tell. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know uh, the trend that you guys think mobile CPUs will end up taking and as always be sure to rate and subscribe this is ICU signing out